is going to be my sweat proof foundation routine for summer and for oily skin. I was in Puerto Rico a few months ago and this is the routine that I used so my makeup would not budge. I mean I was walking out in the sun, it was hot and nasty and my makeup did not budge so I know a lot of you guys asked if I could do a tutorial on this I just wanted to wait till it got a little bit hotter so I hope this helps you guys out this is what works for me my skin gets really oily during summertime and the rest of the year it's pretty normal so I hope you guys enjoy and also I'll always link all the products I use down below in the description bar in case you want to check them out or you missed something that I said in this tutorial and I'm going to show you my foundation my base and I included like my blush and bronzer kind of deal but I didn't show my eyes I already had my eyes done for this video because you can do any kind of eye look that you want I kept mine more neutral just because I'm focusing on the face and that's what we want to worry about because it's so annoying when you do your makeup then it's sweating and you're nasty and your makeup's gone so this routine is bomb for me it's what works and what I'll be sticking to all summer so I hope you guys enjoy also leave any summer makeup requests down below or any videos at all because I'm making a little list of things to do for the summer so I'll quit rambling. Let's go ahead and get started with the makeup. So oil prevention starts with your skincare. I've already washed, toned, and moisturized. I use the clarifying lotion in number three for oily combination skin by Clinique. Then I'm going to apply my favorite moisturizer for summer by Origins. You can see I'm almost out, which is really sad, but even people with oily skin need to hydrate. And if you don't like the feel of a moisturizer, you will love this one because it's beautiful under makeup and it sinks in and your face just feels refreshed. Then I always like to go in with a facial spray before I put my makeup on. It's just gonna make everything look a little bit more natural. This one is by Evian and I have been obsessed with them. Now I'm going to use my favorite primer, which is by Hourglass. This is the Veil Mineral Primer. It's water resistant, has the SPF, and it's mineral based, so it's not gonna clog your pores, and no oil will come through this. Now I'm taking my favorite foundation for oily skin. This is Revlon Color Stay Whipped, and I'm mixing two different colors because I'm kind of in between since I've been tanning, and I'm using my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki to apply this foundation. This is such a flawless, full coverage, oil, proof foundation. No oil comes through this and it's really long wearing as well. Definitely the best one at the drugstore if you have oily skin. And the brush I'm using is the F80. This is the best brush to use with this in my opinion because it distributes the product and still keeps that coverage. And I always wear this especially when I'm breaking out like I am now because it really helps my skin look a lot better than it actually does. Now I'm gonna take my precision round brush around my eyebrows and on any blemishes just for a little bit more coverage and a little bit of this foundation goes a very long way. To conceal, I'm first gonna go with my favorite concealer which is Pro Long Wear by MAC. This is the longest wearing concealer that I have ever used, but it's so hydrating and it looks so natural on the skin. I'm using the color NC25 with my Beauty Blender, which is my favorite product to use with this concealer, just because it makes it look a little bit more natural, but the coverage is still there. This is one of the only concealers I've ever found not to fade throughout the day, and it has non-creasing technology, so it's good for any skin type. And I'm gonna go back in with that small brush just to get on the inner corners of my eyes. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand, and I'm using this just to highlight some areas of the face. This is very similar to the formula of the MAC Prep and Prime Pens, but it's a lot more affordable. You always wanna make sure you set your concealer, especially during summer. So I'm going in with my Anastasia Contour Kit. I'm gonna use the shade Banana with my Sigma F35, and I love this powder. It looks so natural under the eyes, and it helps your concealer not to budge. Then for the rest of the face, I'm using the Ben Nye Banana Powder and my Sigma F25, which is a bigger version of the smaller one I just used. I'm just gonna set everywhere on the face where I tend to get a little bit oily. 
This is my favorite powder for summer because it's so finely milled and it's gonna absorb any excess oils on the face. Going back to that contour kit, I'm gonna take the middle shade just to carve out my cheekbones, around my hairline, my nose, and my jawline for a little bit of definition. Even when I do natural makeup, I always contour just because it changes your face shape and once you get it down, if you're like me, you never wanna go without contouring, so that's what I'm doing now. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of this new bronzer for MAC in the shade Delphic with this fluffy Ego Tools brush just to bronze and kind of blend everything out. I've had this brush for years and I just rediscovered it. It's so soft and fluffy. I picked up mine at Walmart. Now I'm taking Damsel Fly from Becca Cosmetics with my Sigma F40 blush brush, one of my favorites. And I'm gonna to start towards the hairline and work the color forwards for that beautiful summer glow. This has been one of my favorite coral blushes lately. Then for the highlight, so this is Bobbi Brown's Beige Shimmer Brick. Oh my goodness, this is so similar to Whisper of Guilt and it's a permanent product. You guys will be seeing a lot more of this. Look how gorgeous that glow is. It's like a pale white gold shade. Then to set everything, I'm taking Motive's No More Shine Spray. This is really important to set everything and this will also prevent oil without looking too powdery. Then I applied Centifolia Lipstick and Raisin Lip Gloss from Bite Beauty. So here's the finished look. I hope you guys found it helpful and maybe discovered some new products for your summer makeup routine. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video.